Welcome back to Milton Road Junction. As I intimated in the last video, this one is going to be slightly different to the norm. It's a, an update, but it's not a true layout update. It's going to deal completely with the electrics, and the electrics are revolving around my points and my point controllers. Uh, and I'm going to explain why I'm doing that and what I'm doing. But before I do that, I'll just give you a little bit of background into my layout. My layout is controlled completely by an ECOS points control, uh, ECOS controller, which controls the trains, the points, and uh, the signals, and it will pretty much control everything eventually. And the points, they are all uh, fired or changed with a points motor, a point motor, and they're all used. Uh, I, I use on all of them. Uh, a gauge master seep point motor. Now there are two different types as you probably all know there's a PM1 and a PM2. The PM1 of which this is one you can change the polarity of the points uh, the frog on an electrofrog point. It's, there's an inbuilt um, switch which changes as the point is fired or, or the point is changed. For all intents and purposes they look pretty similar. The, as I say the only difference is there's a switch which is underneath just across here and uh, it's got a few more electrical contact points. Now they on my layout are all changed using a point controller from DCC Concepts. Now there are two different types. There's basically the ADS and the ADS FX and they come, both of them come in two different types. There's a 2 version and an 8 version. This is the 2 version and the 8 version is basically just four of these linked together on the same uh, circuit board. Now the two different types of these, uh, the only real difference is that one has an inbuilt polarity switch or switch which can be, again can be used to change the polarity of the frog. It's not a physical switch, it's an electronic switch, so there's less likely anything to go wrong on this. And uh, But in all intents and purposes, these work wonderfully and fire the points every time. No, don't have a problem with these at all. And on my layout, the fiddle yard all has insulated points, so I just use a PM2 with a non-switched non uh, point motor and the older version of these which uh, again doesn't have the switch it just fires the points and in fact most of my points have the older version without the switch because I just use uh, the polarity switch to change all the other points on my layout which are all electrofrog points now this has caused a bit of a problem because this is the switch what I've found, and I think other people have already found this, is that it's very positive for firing the point, and the point doesn't need a lot of movement to, to change it, but it needs a bit more movement and a bit more positivity to change the switch. Now if you've made the hole and you've, you've put this up, if you haven't put it quite central and there's a little, it's, the movement is to the side, and is perhaps stopped by the side of the hole, what will happen, uh, it will change the point, no problem, but it won't change the polarity. And as a result of that, I've found that uh, some of my switches, or my points, don't get the polarity changed, and I'm pretty sure it's completely as a result of this. So what I intend to do is change my older versions of the controller to the newer versions. I'll leave the points in situ, the, the point motors as well obviously in situ. I'll just remove the wires that are running to them because <coughs> they won't be necessary anymore. Uh, and instead of the, the, the wire from the frog going to the motor, it will go to here instead. So there'll be a bit of extension needed for the wire, but apart from that it's a fairly simple changeover. So I intend to do that. It's a bit annoying really, I mean the points and the motors are not a lot of 
difference in price. I think there's 50p difference. It's a little bit, these are a little bit more expensive with the switch, for instance, the twos, uh, Hattons, for instance, are £14 for the older version, £17 for the new. And for the eights, I think it's 46, 41 for the older version and 56 for the new. So there's a bit of difference there. But hopefully I can sell the old ones. I've got three eights I think I need to change. And one of the, the doubles. Perhaps two. So, I mean, if anyone wants uh, the, the twos for, say, £10 and the eights for thirty pound just let me know um that's the advertising over i have a, a little thing i'm going to try underneath here well, i'll show you here you can see them hanging down i have an eight and a two hanging down i've left them hanging because i knew i was going to do some work on them the the two has only got one point being controlled from it so there's a spare space now I think I can do away with that completely because I think the one that's on that uh, controller I can link it together with one on the 8 and they'll be both far off together and that should uh, that should be okay because it's one of those points or a pair of those points that will only ever be fired together uh, the CDU on the controller allows that to happen no problem at all and uh, the only query will be using the newer type of controller where I'm changing the polarity uh, I've whether it works changing two different points polarity which would probably be opposite but I don't see a problem I think I should better sort that out with changing the the wiring round and trial and error until it it works correctly but I'll let you know uh, and I'll see how it gets on so let's uh, I'll come back and let you know. Before we go any further, I was just going to show you my ECOS. I've, I've mentioned it, uh, and I thought I'd just show you uh, mine and mine in action. This is not, no instructional video for the ECOS. That's all been covered by Jim at Hover Motion. So if you want any instructions on it, I suggest you have a look on his channel. But this is this is my channel, and um, that's uh, the diagram that covers the fiddle yard area that's the one that covers uh, the new heritage railway that I'm going to build and also the little loop that I've just built that's the uh, going to be the TMD area and that is the station area and the station approach so if we go to this area all you simply do is touch, touch, and the points change. Uh, very, very simple. Now, if we go across to what's actually working and changing it, the ones I've just done, I've come across to the point controller that the uh, ECOS was just controlling. As you can see, this just controls two points. There's one power input. Uh, that's the blue and the brown cables and I just loop them across uh, from the power input for the actual controller loop them across to the frog polarity on each side so there's, as I say there's only one input but uh, you need power for the polarity of both uh, points so I just loop them across the green wire goes to the frog in each case either side and the grey pink and yellow just control the points at the point motor so it's as simple as that very easy okay this is the new um, board prepared to go in and replace the other one as you can see every pair needs a power input and every frog uh, needs a oh, frog switch needs a power input so basically the original power input will go in there uh, that will be joined to the wires that are already in 
place for the old one. Then it just loops across to the frog, to the next power, to the frog, to the power, frog power. And then on the reverse side it's just to the frogs because the power obviously is there for the power. So before anything, uh, I've had to just wire that up. I mean obviously you could just put separate powers to each one but that would be a mass of wires all hanging underneath. This way I just need one power input to it. It's a bit of a pain but uh, it's easier in the end. So I'll now fit it. Right, carrying on from the last uh, bit I was talking about. Uh, this is the two different controllers. <coughs> They're both uh, the two versions obviously. You can see the one on the left, this one here is the older one and the one on the right is the newer one with the point switch built in. Uh, that's those. So, And this is the 8, the older version of the 8 which I've just taken out uh, from underneath my layout and replaced it with, let me show you under here the newer version um, I'm just in the middle of wiring it up but what I have done is I've wired together two points that where the class 50 is I've, that one and that one here will always be changed together so I've wired them together which has allowed me to remove that single one that was underneath on its own not doing anything they both change okay together and even better uh, the polarity changes the correct way for both points so I haven't got to muck around with it uh, so my little exercise is over really all I've got to do now say all it's going to take quite a long time is fiddle around and rewire the rest of the points that are attached to that eight uh, point controller so there's another seven points to do I'll just work away at that but for all intents and purposes I've, I've shown you what I wanted to show you so uh, that's it so if anyone's got any comments please feel free to leave them or any questions for that matter and uh, subscribe if you wish many thanks and bye for now